one name that is above all and over all and enthroned and will forever be the name of authority and power. And his name is Jesus. We serve a big God. The Bible says he is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Fact that this time we declare he is Lord, he is Master, and every knee shall bow and every tongue confess Jesus is Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Listen, we sing about that blood every week. We declare that blood every week. We stand in the power of that blood every week. Hallelujah. Every blood washed believer has this right that the blood speaks for you and the devil cannot cross the bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I declare not one saint, not one blood washed, redeemed believer of God will contact this disease. I declare in the name of Jesus this is the time where the church learns to walk in the power and the demonstration of the victorious blood of Jesus. Jesus when he rose he said, All power and all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. We're not yet to hide. We're not yet to run away. We're not yet to buy baked beans and run into the mountain and sit in a cave. Somebody say amen. I don't like baked beans. I don't want baked beans. I like my house. I'm not going to a cave. Who am I? I'm the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm a blood-washed, redeemed, saint of the living God. I am the one to whom he spoke in Luke 10, 19 and said, I give you power and authority over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I want you, church, stomp on your enemy. We have the answer. We have a supernatural, mighty God with all authority, all power, all rule. And he's given us the dominion of this. Somebody say, I've got dominion in this world. We serve a supernatural God with a supernatural power and a supernatural anointing. It's a supernatural God who is enthroned with power and dominion and authority, hallelujah. And this spirit of wickedness, this foul spirit is gonna bow its me in the name of Jesus. We're taking authority now. The church is arising now. Now the world's looking at us. I said, now the world is looking at us. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. That's why God brought us together today, church, so that we can arise as the church and stand in the name of Jesus with power and authority and pronounce judgment on this devil. You know what Jesus said? He said, church, I give you the authority. What you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. This God we serve is a God of universal authority and power. We're going to take the authority and the power and the dominion that Jesus has given us. We're going to rise up and stand up and be counted at a time like this. And we're going to declare no more. We binding that devil. Come on, lift your hands and say, Father, thank you today that you have given us power and authority in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The splendor of 
daqui Glory majesty Let all the earth rejoice Let all the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And darkness tries to hide It trembles at his voice It trembles at his voice how great is our God, say with me, how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God.
Good morning, dearly beloved, and welcome to our wonderful Passover meal, the Last Supper that we are remembering of our Lord Jesus Christ together. And we were talking today, Pat, about the fact that just like in Egypt, where every family was in their own Own home, home. they had applied the blood, they had locked the doors behind them. And they were protected. They were in that home. Yes. So every one of you are in your home today. Yes. And uh, what, a, what an incredible time that the blood of Jesus speaks for all of us. And the same way as that blood applied to every household. So this day, the blood applies to your home. And to our Right home. where you are. And to our home yeah, as where well. Yeah, where we are well. in our home. And th- that's what I thought mm. is so amazing, Pat, that... Today, we're not sharing the Passover in a church. Church. We are the church. Church. We are sharing the Passover in our home like that first Passover. And what an incredible blessing that is. So I've uh, I've prepared today to read out of the book of Luke, chapter 22 and verse 7. It says, Then came the day of unleavened bread when the Passover must be killed. And Jesus sent Peter and John saying, go and prepare for us the Passover that we may eat it. Hallelujah. This is such an important meal. And the timing of the Lord, this was not a meal just on any day. God made sure that we understand that that the Last Supper, the Passover meal, is directly related to our Lord delivering Israel before the Exodus. Mm -hmm. This is the Passover meal. Today, corporately, we are celebrating and we are stepping into, by faith, the experience that God promised that the devourer would be rebuked, that the curse would pass over because they are covered in the blood of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so this is us. Jesus shared this so that we can know that we in him have this Passover meal here today. Hallelujah. And this meal doesn't belong to history. It's not an old meal. It is in Christ who is alive. And he's here with you and me today, Pat. Thank you, Lord. And I'm glad you got saved. Amen. And I'm glad I got saved. And our children are saved. And the this, this saved. This is the meal of the redeemed. Hallelujah. With all its precious promises. The Bible says when the day of unleavened bread came. So there's a direct correlation. It's a supernatural meal. Hallelujah. That the Holy Ghost is the guarantor of the promise of this meal. And it's mine to take. And apply yes. to my heart. Ephesians, mm-hmm. let's look at Ephesians 1 mm-hmm. and verse 13. It says, In whom you trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit Thank of you, promise. You are sealed, sealed. Yes, with the spirit of the promise of the power and the outworking of this meal. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. We are especially sharing this meal in this fashion because it's a home meal. So we are sitting down together and we are inviting the Holy Spirit. Right where you are, just raise your hand and we bless you, Holy Spirit. We glorify you, Holy Spirit. We thank you that you take this precious promise. You seal us, you seal every believer in their home with this promise. And you are the guarantor of this blessing, the guarantor of the fact that yes, no Lord. curse will find yes, us, Lord. of the fact yes, that we are protected, yes, we are Father. covered, we are in we you, yes, and the Mother. promise of victory is ours, the promise of health, yes, the Mother. promise of yes, blessing, Lord. 
And we yes, thank Lord. you to work this in every home. Yes, Receive Lord. that anointing yes, in your home. For every family, in Jesus' Father. mighty Here's name. Here's our voice today, Father. Yes. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Glory to God. Thank so you, we come to him in a supernatural meal. Mm. And think of it. They were in the different homes. Mm -hmm. But the whole nation was protected. And that is what's happening right now. Right. Not one no. believer yeah. is going to get sick. Amen. We agree. That's Thank what we're Lord. standing on. We as a church, church. in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. not one of us will get sick. Not one of us yes, will Father. catch this disease. Because in Jesus' name, the curse passes over us. In Matthew 26, yes, let's read the Passover meal here. Matthew 26 and verse 26. It says, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread blessed and broke it, gave it to the disciples yes, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, yes, and gave thanks and gave it to them. And he said, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission yes. of sins. But I say to you, I'll not drink of this fruit of the vine mm -hmm. from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's house hallelujah Thank you. what struck me very much about this firstly that it's a home meal we are yes. in our homes secondly is that on this day jesus gave a lot of practical instructions it wasn't just a religious event he told them this is what you can expect mm -hmm. firstly there's one year that's going to betray me mm -hmm. secondly peter you're going to deny me three times Thirdly, he said, this is the last time. And he also speaks about the fact that he's going to be raised from the dead. He speaks about Peter being restored. And after you restored, restore your brothers. Mm. He speaks about the time that he's in. He speaks about relevant things. And then he says an interesting thing. He says in John 14 mm -hmm. verse 20, And now I have told you before it comes. I've told you before it comes, so that when it does come to pass, you may believe. And there's things that the Lord told us before it comes about this time that we are in now. That's right. There's a pestilence, we're calling it Corona. Um, he told us in the last days there will be pestilences. He told us about the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. He told us that, that in the end times we'll be forced yes. to put a chip in our right hand and in our forehead. He told us not to fear that he'll be with us. He told us that the money system would be used and all these things. And dearly beloved, today there's a lot of things going on. And just like then, Jesus was speaking about relevant things happening at the time. I want to take this time this morning because we all know the power of this meal to just talk about a few relevant things. Here we are. We isolated in our homes. And we need to do it. We need to be obedient. We must not go out. We must stay in. We've got to listen to the government. Right now, yes. yes. We don't blanket statement yes. says always listen to the government. Yeah. But realize today that we're not isolated. This is not persecution That's of the right. church. That's what I want to say, yes. This is our government trying their best to protect, protect the us. nation. Just like, you know, in 1916 when they had the plague that killed hundreds of thousands of people this is not the persecution of the church it's not um the intentions of our government they are yes. even-handed look there's other nations where the the persecution there is some persecution and that mm. and they're dealing with it mm. but for us yeah in south africa we must realize and i thank god for mm. our president yes. because he took early decisive action and uh, we believe with him and with yes. you today that this curse is going to be broken, yes, that Jesus we're going to have name. the breakthrough and the victory together. Yes, Lord. So we are in this time. So yeah. we are saying, let's together, work together mm. to get the breakthrough for our nation. But then, of course, there's other things happening. Um, they're talking about taking medication or perhaps even being immunized. Now, that is the place where a lot of people are starting to get jittery because they're saying we must be immunized. Well, that is a natural thing. That is medication. Uh, whether the medication is going to be effective or not, I don't know. 
But I do know that when I was young, I was immunized for smallpox. Mm -hmm. And many of you for measles, mm -hmm. all kinds of things, and it worked. By and large, there are a few people that had adverse effects. So we'll cross that bridge when it comes. But now, dearly beloved, there's talk about them wanting to plant a chip in people so that they can track whether you had the immunization. Now that is where we will put our foot down. Because make no mistake that if they put a chip in you, and I've read it, you can go on Google and uh, Google the, the ID2020 Alliance. You will see their own websites, what they're talking about. If the enemy uses and takes advantage of this moment to install before his time, it's before his time. I told you that three weeks ago. The enemy is trying before his time to gain control. Um, I don't think the world powers are ready for this. But if he tries to, they will put a chip in people and it will track. They will tell you. It's just to see if you've been immunized so that they know if you're a danger or not. Well, if that chip is there, they're also talking then when you go to the airport, they'll be able to see are you a danger to other people. So it's been very cleverly disguised. Mm -hmm. If they go for the chip, understand this, that that is a digital ID. They can easily then say, okay, then we're going to tie the chip to your health records. Uh, we're going to now tie the chip to your uh, criminal records. We're going to tie the chip now to your financial records. And the next moment, you are exactly there. And we will not take such a chip. That we will not do. And then, of course, there's the whole 5G thing happening now. And a lot of people are scared about 5G. And uh, <laughs> there's horror stories out there that 5G has been put on, and when they put it on, people are going to die. They're going to like, it's like a radiation machine. Put on 5G, and people are going to fall down dead. That's not the truth. 5G is like 3G, 4G is just much more powerful. Yes, is it, is it dangerous to your health? Probably is uh, dangerous to your health, but in large doses. Uh, the truth of the matter is, most of you already got 5G in your home. You got 2.4G, you got 5G now. And uh, so I would recommend not having that. Mm -hmm. So, yes, all these things are coming together. But, dearly beloved, we are not afraid of that. We're not going for that. So, I'm saying to you, we'll watch them. We'll see what they're trying to do. But at the same time, right now, we've got a health issue we're dealing with. So, let's stay focused. Mm -hmm. Let's stay in faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's apply this meal. Yes. In the, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus together. Yes. Hallelujah. Because we're in God's palm of His hand. He's got us in His palm of His hand. And so we must love fear. Us and He loves so us. He's dear. got our future in His hand. Amen. Amen. So Jesus took the bread and He said, This is my body. Thank you, Lord. And it's broken for you. So mm. let's take your meal wherever you are. Yes. Let's take this bread. Jesus, thank we thank you for your body. You yes, gave Lord. your body on the cross the sacrifice for us yes, and we glorify you so let's eat the body thank together you. thank you jesus for what you accomplished that in yes, your flesh Lord. you bore our sickness you bore our sin and we bless you for thank the you, cross for the salvation that's in you yes, and then he took the cup and he said oh, this is the cup you, of the new covenant yes, in my blood by this blood we redeem by this blood we set free. By this blood we draw nigh. Thank By this God. blood we have a promise that is yea and it's amen. Saints, yes, we are sealed in this blood. Let's drink it together in Thank Jesus' name. Father. Thank you, our Father. Now let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the mighty yes, name of Father, Jesus, yes, I thank Lord. you that just like in the Passover, yes, this is the Passover yes, meal, Father. we live in the Passover. Yes, Father. We live in your presence. Yes, we live in your glory. Yes, we Father. live in your victory over sin. We live in your resurrection power from the dead. Yes, we live yes, in the Father. promise yes, of the blood. We yes, live in the Father. power of the blood. Yes, and Father. today I bless each and every yes, one. Father. Thank you for your anointing yes, in that home. Yes, Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your protection. Yes, Thank you for your hand on each yes, and Lord. every family. Yes, Father, Lord. I bless every home. Yes, I thank Father. for strengthening everyone. And Lord, 
Every Thank disease you, was healed. They yes, came Lord. out and they were yes, whole. Yes, Your Lord. word says there was not one sick or feeble Thank among you. them. Thank and you, so God. it shall be for your church. Yes, I bless you right in your home. I release Amen. the anointing. Yes, I release the blessing. healing anointing. Yes, I release provision anointing. Yes, I release no the Father. blessing of the new covenant. I yes, declare Lord. in Jesus' name, we are partakers yes, of a brand new covenant covenant yes, in jesus name thank you lord amen, amen church. and amen, amen. hallelujah amen. what God a privilege you. that we can share yes, the meal lord. together yes. amen. today bless and you and your home saints uh we come to the time now of bringing our offering to god yes. and uh of course <laughs> it's all digital and i'm so proud of you mm. so many of you uh, actually for the first time started giving digitally mm. and uh Remember today as you sow, it's yes, an Lord. act of faith from your heart. It's an act of worship you, to God, which God answers and blesses. And Thank we're not God. intimidated by the world. We live by our faith. Your seed yes, Lord. is your evidence yes, of your blessing. Your seed is your evidence of your harvest. So I Thank bless you. you. Look at your screen seed, and uh, Renette Thank will you, tell you a bit more about how to Thank physically you, give. Dearly beloved, we love you. God bless you. We're looking forward to a Sunday morning yes, service. Lord. Resurrection Amen. service. It's going to be awesome. We love you. God bless you. each and every Thank one you, of you. Amen. And you, my darling Amen. one. God bless you. And what about Church. you? And God bless you. <laughs> we love you. Bless you, dear church. Amen. Church. There are many ways to sow your faith seed when you cannot attend church to do so. Online giving provides flexibility and is secure. You may give online via EFT. Simply add our bank accounts to your beneficiary list and you are set. Once this has been done, you may also pay directly from your banking app. Another free, easy and secure payment method is Zappa. All you need to do is download the Zappa app on your smartphone, complete your profile, load your credit, debit or check cards and when you are ready to pay, begin scanning the QR code on our website or in the description box below. Then type in the amount you want to sew and press pay. Or you may click on the link in the description box to make giving more convenient for you. Giving to God's work is an act of worship, faith and trust. May your seed yield a harvest. We are so glad that you joined us for the service today and I remind you that the Bible says we take the Word of God mixed with faith and it prospers us. And I pray today that God's Word would prosper in your life as you apply it, not just being a forgetful hearer, but doers of the Word, living in the promise of God. So we bless you today and i want to invite those of you who do not know our lord jesus christ as your personal lord and savior he came and he died on the cross for you and for me he did not die for his own sin he was the lamb of god that takes away the sins of the world and his blood was shed for your soul and god loves you and today if you'll call on the name of jesus you shall be saved. You believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead? Then confess that today. Believe in him as your savior and you will get to know this wonderful Lord. I want to lead you today in a short prayer and I want you to pray this prayer from your heart. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus Christ to be my savior, to pay my price, to shed his blood. I believe that by the blood of Jesus, my sins are washed away. I believe that Jesus is your son, the Redeemer sent for me. Lord Jesus, I confess you today as my Lord and Savior, and I give my life to you. Amen. Well, friend, God bless you. I encourage you to follow through on that. Find a church closest to you. If you're in Durban, this is Durban Christian Center. You're most welcome to join us. Find us on the website. If you're in another city,
there is a church close to you. Call on Jesus. Take your Bible. Start reading in the book of John. And God will lead you into the full knowledge of Jesus Christ. So, from all of us here at Durban Christian Center, God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you.